Well, my friends, this is a new video of a gentleman. He is about 33 years. Has been suffering from weakness and emaciation of the superior extremity. Left and right hands. This emaciation, this emaciation and weakness has started from the left hand. Still there is drooping of the left hand. See the left hand is very much drooped, very weak, no strength at all. Right hand, now it is followed in the followed by in the right hand. Right hand weak hoyete. Kintu left hand bish. Weakness plus emaciation. Dito hathir kong saman koro. See in comparison with the right hand, the left hand is mass emaciated. So emaciated and weakness. There is fine tremor also. There is fine tremor also. The patient has come from Bangladesh district Dhaka. I do not like to show his face as he is attached to its an educational institution. Now what is the cause behind it? The cause is disturbance in the motor system. It is motor neuron disease. I have told you about the motor neuron disease in many videos. The main symptoms are weakness and uncoordination of the muscle movements and stiffness of the muscles or floppiness of the muscles. Kothao stiff hocha pare, kothao floppy hocha pare. Kothao muscle beshi shukye dhecha pare. Jekana wasting of the muscles beshi, sheta upper motor neuron disease, and jekana wasting calm, sheta lower motor neuron disease. Muscles become stiff, it means upper motor neuron disease, muscles become flaccid, lower motor neuron disease. So it is a kind of motor neuron disease. Weakness may result from an abnormality in the motor pathway. Motor pathway ki jinish shetami dhekhachi. Upper or lower motor on disease depends on the pathway. <coughs> the neuromuscular junction is responsible for this. Brain anatomy physiology na dhanle, it a boja khubi muskil. From the cerebral cortex, from the cerebral cortex there is a pathway into the anterior horn cell. It crosses, the pathway crosses so left sided cerebral cortex disturbance equal to right sided complaints and right sided pathway disturbance means left sided complaints. So this is called the motor system. So the motor system we can divide into two parts the pyramidal and extra pyramidal. The pyramidal system is responsible for the voluntary movements and the extra pyramidal controls posture and coordination of the muscles. The main pathway of the pyramidal tract or the pyramidal system is from, begins from the brain, brain cells, the cerebral cortex. So the cerebral cortex is responsible, the cerebral cortex is responsible for the movement. Therefore it is called the cerebral cortex. Therefore it is called the cerebral cortex. Fibers from this cortex comes to the spinal cord, comes to the spinal cord. This is called the pyramidal tract. This is called the pyramidal tract. So, fibers from these cells project to the spinal cord, forming a bundle of tract 
as they pass downwards through the different structures. So the pyramidal tract from the right motor cortex crosses the left side of the spinal cord in the region of medulla. Hence the right motor cortex contains the movement in the left side of the body and vice versa the tagi bollam. Now this disease is a motor neuron disease. Now what will be the homeopathic treatment? There is trembling sensation, paralytic sensation of this gentleman. This is our particular symptom in the chapter extremities, extremities paralytic. There are many medicines. Only most important medicine is costicum. Only the most medicine is costicum. It is a so it appears slowly. If we go to the genetics, gradually appearing, posticum is in the first grade. Paralysis, gradually appearing, posticum. Paralysis of the extremities, posticum. So now the other symptoms, the fine tremors and trembling, the patient is chilly, sheath beshi, sheath beshi, profuse perspiration, Desire for meat, mangsho kete balavashe, desire for salt, and extraordinary sympathetic patient, and injustice cannot tolerate, this is a justifiable man, and there is great anxiety, so our medicine is posticum. Hanuman's tinctura sine actis calit. So let's try by this medicine posticum. In, I do like to prescribe in 50 millisimal scale of potencies, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. once daily in the morning. In addition to that, the auxiliary measures to be advised the patient physiotherapy and masses. Let's see the result. I shall share with my friends.